Hi everyone, how are y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing all right today. I'm gonna read one book this time. I'm gonna read something called Not Yet a Yeti. And I think it'll be a pretty cool story. So I'm gonna get started by sharing my screen, okay? Not Yet a Yeti. George's granddad was a Yeti. His mom and dad were Yetis. His sister was a Yeti. Picture of his mom and dad, his sister, his granddad. All of George's family were Yetis. All of them except George. What color is George? Here he is. George is blue, right? George is blue. When will I be a Yeti? George asked Grandad. When you can survive alone on a frozen mountain, waiting to lure stray hikers to their doom, Grandad growled. How many trees do you guys see in this picture? Let's see. Here are the trees I'm talking about. How many trees? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see seven trees. You can just do clear. Clear all trees. Wow, learn something new. Seven trees. <clears throat> I don't want to lure stray hikers to their doom, said George. Granddad put his massive paw on George's shoulder. George nearly fell over. Then you are not yet a Yeti, Granddad said. What is Granddad wearing on his feet? Here Granddad is. What are these called? What is Granddad wearing on his feet? He's wearing some slippers. Granddad is wearing slippers. When will I be a Yeti? George asked Granddad. When you can chase people around the mountain till they scream in terror, Dad said. I don't want to chase people until they scream with terror, said George. Dad hugged him. George couldn't breathe. Then you are not yet a Yeti, Dad said. When will I be a Yeti? You're one already, George said to his big sister. When you can leave a footprint in the snow that makes people gasp with dread, Big Sister said. I've only got small feet, said George. Look, then you are not yet a Yeti, Big Sister said, accidentally stomping on George's toes. Can you point to the scarf in this picture? There are two. Here's a scarf, and here's a scarf. I'll draw again. There's one, and there's one. What color are the scarves? The scarves are purple and green, right? Purple and green. It's not fair, George said to his mom when she came back from chasing some hikers. I'm still not a Yeti. Do you want to be a Yeti? Mom asked. George looked inside his head for the Yeti he imagined he would be. It wasn't there. No, said George. 
Mom put on some soup. She hadn't caught any hikers that day, so it was vegetable again. Well, what do you want to be? George looked back inside his head. Finally, he saw it. I want to be a unicorn. Mom stopped stirring. Are you sure? Yes, said George. I'm not a Yeti. I'm not even, not yet a Yeti. I'm a unicorn. As George spoke, a sparkly horn appeared on his forehead. His arms and legs grew hooves and a mane and tail whooshed onto the bits where mane and tails go. So what is George turning into? Or what he, has he been all along, I suppose? He's a unicorn. Can you point to his horn? There it is. Let's see, I see one here. I see one here and one there. Derek, mom yelled, you'd better come here. George has turned into a unicorn. Dad let out an earth shaking roar. Roar. George took a deep breath. Dad, I don't wanna frighten people. I want to help them. I'm not yet a Yeti and I never will be. Dad scratched his furry head. Well, he said, we do love chasing hikers. But if we keep eating them, they'll become extinct. So maybe we could chase them and you could rescue them. So George's granddad was a Yeti. His sister was a Yeti. His mom and dad were Yetis. All of George's family were Yetis. But what's George? All of them except George, because he, he's a unicorn. That's pretty awesome. I like that story. Hope you guys liked it too. So that seemed like a story about how you don't have to always fit into people's um, expectations of you. Whatever your pace is, whatever you dream that you want to be, that's your choice, right? So if there's something that you want to do and it doesn't seem like it's on the table, you got to just let, let everybody know and work for what you want, okay? Because you guys all have the capability of being whoever you want to be, okay? And I hope you guys know that. I love all of you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See ya.